Hi, Dave Wilson here again. Now, I'm sure you'll agree like me that some of the best tools are the simplest tools. For example, a block of steel. So, come with me, let me show you why. So, this is a block of steel. This is the Vintage, or Vintage, not sure how they pronounce that, bench block. So, 4 inch by 4 inch by 0.5, so 4 by 4 by half an inch. Um, so this is a this is a medium size. It's quite a large one actually. Um, comes nicely presented in a plastic case, colour box, and on the back you've got some nice pictures showing you a few suggestions as to what you can do with it. And then inside it comes in a nice card box. So very well presented. So this will make a great gift for a crafter. Uh, it's quite heavy. And uh, let's take the block out itself. Have a look inside. This is brand new by the way, and inside you see it's been covered in plastic to protect it in transit, stop it from rusting, so let's just take all this off, uh, we'll probably find it's got a slight coating of grease on it as well but that's not a problem, and there we go, one nice new block. So you can see the surface, it's very smooth, it's very nice and this is going to be great for working on. Now this vintage one uh, is actually one of the cheaper uh, best value ones that cooks and sell um, but you can see that you know the surface is very very smooth it's quite good uh, you can get some bench blocks that are actually mirror polished but of course you pay a lot of money because it takes time to have that done so let's give it a go so the first thing that you can use it for, the most obvious thing, is for flattening things out. So here I've got, uh, this is the piece that I was piercing it out. Now I've got a plastic nylon mallet here and I'm just going to give that a few taps. And there we go. And it's managed to do that. It's not going to mark it, the hammer's not going to mark it, the block's not going to mark it. So, very fast, quick, easy way of flattening a piece out. Now, Vintage do make a rubber block that you can put underneath it. So if you're worried too much about noise, uh, you can put a big rubber block underneath it. Something that I really like to use is this rubber mat. Uh, I got this from a cheapy shop, you know, one of these kind of pound stores. Uh, but you can get these in car shops, anywhere. Um, they're for going in uh, on your dashboard for stopping things rolling about or you can put them in your toolboxes. I buy this by the roll, it's great. But if you put, pop a bit of that underneath, it just stops your block from wobbling round. So get yourself some of this rubber sheeting, it's great stuff. Handmade earring, sterling silver. Now with a sterling silver earring, once you've made it, you want it to be nice and tight and springy. So, nice hammer. Uh, notice my hammer is very smooth and polished, so it's not going to mark the silver. And just on the crescent there, I'm just going to give it just a few little taps. I'm not really wanting to flatten it as such, I'm just hammering it just a little bit. And all I am doing is, I'm just flattening it just enough to make it springy. Now you probably can't see it on the camera, it's very subtle, but that is now, that is now nice and springy, so great little earring. Or if you wanted to hammer it out further, you could even stamp it on the corner there. In a similar theme, little handmade clasp, just a, a hook clasp. Uh, once again, nice smooth hammer, and if I hammer it all the way around the curved section here, in fact you can hammer it all over really. Now some people like to do this and flatten it out just for aesthetic reasons. I'm just flattening it out here, well yes for aesthetic reasons but also to make it springy. And there we go. And if I squeeze that together, I can actually feel that's a lot tougher now. So there you go, you've now got a nice springy 
clasp and again because I've used a smooth hammer and I've used a smooth block there's no marks on that at all that has not affected the finish whatsoever that is good to go that could even be in situ on a finished bracelet and it's not going to mark it so it's great for hammering things on but it also provides weight and a lot of solidity so this is a block of scrap silver and I'm going to punch it I've got a 925 punch here and I'm just going to put this on here and strike it with a hammer and just a couple of good sharp blows I like to rock it from side to side as well just to make sure I get it in and there we go a nice little 925 sterling silver there now it's very important that you try and look after this surface because any dents or marks in here are going to get pushed into your metal so keep it nice and smooth um, it's worthwhile keeping a nice polished hammer as well for working with it you've got your big hammers but keep one nice and clean and polished just for working with wire on your bench block now of course this is carbon steel like the other bench blocks so it will rust if you don't look after it so all you need to do little blast of WD-40 on it wipe it over with a damp cloth and that will remove any grease any traces the WD-40 will penetrate into the block and it will stop it from rusting worst case scenario if it does get scratched or damaged just rub it over the entire surface with some very fine emery paper clean it off and it will be good to go don't forget as well keep it on a rubber block and then that way you don't damage the surface at the bottom so if you do damage one side you can just flip it over and you've got a brand new block on the other side so there you go the wonders of a four inch block of steel i've been dave wilson thanks for watching